What's good, world? Man, hit that like button and that notification bell. We're going to talk about this My Son and Desiree Perez situation. You know, the Rock Nation uh, um, informant slash CEO. It is, this whole thing is crazy, man. You got my son out here defending this false narrative. And the, the, the false narrative that he's defending is that Desiree Perez is not a rat. And he's giving all type of excuses. He's, he's coming at people who's coming at Meek Mill for the 6 9 situation. Now, I already did a video about Meek Mill in the 6 9 situation. It says, I'm not a clout chaser. Y'all can go check out that video. I'm not going to get into that again. My, my thing is not even with Meek Mill. It's about you, my son. You spent over 10 years in prison for something you didn't do to stick by a code of ethics that you preach so eloquently about every chance that you get. You talk about this now. You talk about the trials and tribulations you went through, and you talk about the honor system that most individuals in this field and culture and music business don't uphold anymore. That's what you say. Now, this lady comes in this culture or whatever. I don't care what backgrounds and excuse you give it to her. She comes in this culture, and her background was in the culture that you're talking about. She already was in it. She was in a alleged drug operation, and she told on the guys. Got a lot of people locked up for a whole lot of years. Got, got herself in a bad business, too. She even got pardoned by um, the late president, Donald Trump. I, I don't mean to say late like that, but y'all know what I mean. She got pardoned. She got out the way. And here comes you, my son. Moments later, I've noticed you've been tap dancing on that situation for the longest. And it has a lot to do with your affiliations of being this activist fellow, speaking with the likes of um, Jay-Z and his corporations and foundations when I started following the breadcrumbs. A lot of things you do is fake, bro. You come in here and you jump on the woods on other people's situations, no pause. You, you, you call out people's names and certain people give you a pass because you, you my son Mandela. You the guy who changes the world. You the guy who forgot about the things he used to spew and say, and I try not to hold you against that because we grow and people have to get better with time. So I'm not mad at that. You're changing your narratives and what you preached about, but you're a hypocrite and you're a dangerous hypocrite at that. Because now you have a voice in a platform that many people around the world, not just in New York, not just in the United States domestically, but worldwide people listen to what you say. And in the passes that you gave Desiree, I'm looking at you. Why not give passes to other people since you're giving a get out of get out of snitch free card? You know what I mean? She's the definition of what a, a tattletale is. The definition of what to be a rat is. She knew what she was getting herself into. She was a, one of the ring role players in that drug situation. Allegedly, I don't care what the rules and laws are. I'm going to still say allegedly. She was involved in all that. For you to make these excuses for her, bro. It shows that your words can't be trusted anymore. To let that dude Hassan even, you know, have a, a good point to say against you, that's when I knew you was a foul dude, when I couldn't even defend you against what Hassan said. That's when, I, bro, bro, like, I sat back and listened to the excuse you said for Desiree. You have now hit the point I told all these people when you got a guy who becomes a face and he has certain corporations backing him and his words. The words can't be trusted anymore. You ain't learned from the people like Fred Hampton and so many other people, Malcolm or Martin Luther King, or should I say Michael King? Because his name never was Martin Luther King, but I'm not going to get into that. That's another video. Once these guys start getting bought, the puppet master hands start going behind their four point of contact. Y'all need to Google what that is. I'm not going to say it for YouTube purposes educational purposes that is once them hands start going behind your four point of contact they start controlling you my nigga all the rhetoric you spew out maybe they didn't write nothing down for you but when your mind starts having glitches and you don't want to say certain things because you don't want to upset certain people bro then i can't misconstrue anything you said because you did that for us already bro you tap dancing right now your brain is having this withdrawal that you don't want to say something to upset certain people that are backing you and supporting you now if you're going to be coming out here as a businessman say what it is and i'm gonna mind my business do what you got to do to feed your family and eat but when you jump out the woodwork every second bro to speak about these things in the manner and ways you spoke about so many other rappers not just in the past even currently in the present day Yet you can't call this lady out in the righteous way that you've done in this honorable manner 
in, in the my son mandela way that's that's your name my son mandela that's the new way of wave i'm gonna coin and phrase you now you have now wrote rosa plateau that's more bigger than what you could ever see yourself on this type of pedestal you're being pampered left and right yeah, you still think you can speak for the streets. This this the problem a lot of you dudes who speak so articulate and all this X, Y, and Z. People who got big platforms like y'all's. Once people start seeing a little bit slippage in your little foolproof uh, system you have of giving this blueprint, uh, blue um, print plan how to escape these, you know, everyday scavengers we go through. I, I, I'm just going to look at you, bro, and say you lost the people already. Niggas see chink in your armor, chief. Niggas see that the puppet hand is all the way up, you know what. And it's so far up in you, bro. We don't know which one is speaking for you currently right now in the physical Mor Morrises, bro. I don't see anything you speaking to us now that's of relevant, that can matter. When you're, when you're tiptoeing around a certain foundation that you set. Remember when World Star was up and popping? You started doing videos then speaking like this. Come on, man. What you said about Rick Ross... Should we play that video again, what you said about Rick Ross and being a correctional officer? The way you went in on that brother, bro, like you didn't even go an ounce like that on Desiree. Could it be the attraction or could it be like the typical brother? You go more ham on your own kind that look like you and more for the fairer skin. You're more easier in the eye. But I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to dibble and dabble their paws. I'm just going to call you out for the hypocrite you are, my son. You are a hypocrite. Your words can't be trusted anymore. Like, all I'm going to say is you're not shocking at all, bro. I said this was going to happen. I've debated you behind the scene before. Shout out to you for doing that. But the way you debate is almost like one of them um, Hebrew Israelite type cats, bro. You coming from the sense of you're the know-it-all and knowledge stops with you and starts with you. Like, get over yourself. Get Please, get, you hear them police sirens out there? Niggas got to live in the real world every day, bro. Nobody wants to hear you dictate and doctrine what people need to hear on an everyday basis, bro. Nobody asks you to be the next T.I. You know, you just like that, brother, speaking for the people. I don't speak for the people. I give my thoughts and opinion based on what I feel like, and I make sure I separate it from a world view and, and bless one's viewpoint. And then it so happened other people might like my viewpoint, and they listen to it, but it's not subjugated to the point where I'm the start of knowledge and the end of knowledge. It's crazy when you dudes come in that type of manner. The backlash you're going to get is going to be worse than what you're seeing now. It's going to be your legacy. It's tainted now, bro. It's tainted. Your legacy was what what was more important, bro, what you leave behind. And I'm I'm just here to tell you, bro, like you tainted something that can't be fixed. It can't be fixed, bro. I mean, you can call her out now, but we already seen you didn't have the energy to match it. You pick and choose. So you're a picky choose type brother. You know, you get over theatric, you get loud with the the masses. So you can make it look like you have this care. But the truth is, when you look at the beautiful women around you, salute to them, and you look at the, the groups that you follow and the people you speak for, it makes me look at you, bro. Are you co-and-tell? Have you been bought? These are factual questions that can't be eluded, bro. Have the great my son Mandela been bought? Because the words you speaking now is the exact words of these agents out here, the exact words of COINTEL, the exact word of so many other paid and bought puppets. They just string you dudes along and you just are, are, are along for the show. The free show that can't benefit nor help anyone other than your self-affiliated ego, bro. You got the worst ego I've seen yet. Can we get that part out the way yet? You have to rest in peace to King Face. You didn't even give that brother a chance in the debate. I remember I seen it. He did all the backing of what he was speaking for his side. Not saying that Face was right or wrong, but you didn't even have time to at least pay attention and listen. I was watching you. If nobody's looking looking up to my son Mandela as the great next Malcolm X, you dismiss that person as another peon in your vessel world of being a puppet on a string, bro. A puppet on a string. For that lady to do what she did and she took down empires and you don't even call her out the way you called out so many other people, rappers, regular, everyday Joe cats out there, bro. You're a hypocrite.
and I know a lot where well, I never was associated or attached to you, but I am no longer going to stand here and defend you in the public spectrum like I've did over the years just because I like what you were doing. But when I see you pick and choose, you're very dangerous doing that. You use your platform for the wrong ideas, brother. There's no more free press and there's no more society. I'm God bless one, man. Love your family, love your kids, and ultimately stay blessed.